Hi there. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Yay. Welcome, everybody. We're so happy that you could join us this morning to learn about um, the newest innovative approach to tinting from Refectosil called Intense Browns. Um, we have our lovely trainee, Maldonado, here. She is our um, educator, marketing specialist from the Colorado office. Um, so we're, and she has also been trained and been using this product as well. So she has a lot to share. Um, but before we get started, I want to introduce myself. My name is Wendy. Um, I am the owner of the Colorado location. I'm sure most of you know, but we are Alexander's Aesthetics and we have two locations, one in Colorado and one in California. Um, so before we get started, because I'm going to have Trini kind of walk through all of the things you want to know, I just want to make sure everybody's logged in, is doing okay in the um, in the chat. Um, we will be doing Q&A at the end, so you could put your questions um, in the Q&A, and you can also chat with us if you need to. So in the chat box, if everyone could just take a minute and put in where they are calling in from, we just love to see um, where... Yep. Wendy, I think that someone has said the chat box is uh, disabled. Oh, so let's see how we do how that. How can we change that? Sorry, we'll work on that, guys. Thanks for yeah, letting us know. maybe they can put it in the Q&A. How about that? Yes. I, um, why. I can go in the back end once we get started. Thank you for letting us know. I'm not sure how we fix that, but I will try to get that fixed. Thank you for letting us know. For now, use the Q&A box because it looks like that's working. We've got California, San Jose, Sacramento. Um, we have our employees here in Louisville, Cincinnati, Ohio. I think the chat box is working now. If you guys want to try that as well. That would yeah, let's try. Be great. There we go. Thank Yay. you, Trini, for fixing that. Yes. and then. Um, just to verify, there should be a PDF in the chat box. Did that show up there for everybody? <clears throat> it showed up for me, but let's make sure everybody else can get that because that is important that everyone downloads that. Oh, great. People from all over. This is so fun. Welcome, everybody. Awesome. Thank you so this much for so fun. joining us. All right, I will be in the background um, monitoring any questions if someone has problems. Um, I'll try to, if there's any questions that I can answer, not product related, but anything else, I will try to get to those as well. But um, Trini will also allow some time at the end for Q&A as well. So with that, thank you everybody for taking your time out for today. And we will, just to let everyone know, we will have this posted on our YouTube channel probably towards the end of the week. All of our webinars are posted on our YouTube channel and we will have this one up there as soon as we can as well in case you need to drop off or um, you know someone else that might like to see it. So thank you so much and I'll pass it over to Trini. Yay, awesome. Thanks everyone for joining us today. I'm really excited to talk about um, the new um, intense browns from Reflectasil. I've really loved them in the treatment room and my clients have also really enjoyed the change because of how long they're lasting. So let's hop right into it. Um, just to let you guys know, if you have any questions, please put it in the chat box. I'll try to keep track of that as much as possible. Um, and then at the end, we'll get to all of those questions, but I'm gonna keep it open just in case there's something um, pertaining to a slide that we're currently on. I also do wanna say that this um, webinar isn't going to teach the actual technique of the product, but the product and why and how it's different um, in comparison to other products that we've used from Reflectosil, which is important for us to know this is a totally different system. Um, and so we're gonna just talk about what makes it different and um, how, it's a, how it's special. Let's see if I can change my slide here. There we go. So Zoom Basics, I think we're all pretty familiar with Zoom. So 
Um, since we're in a webinar, I think some of these features aren't, but we all know how to use the chat box, and I think that's the most important part right now. So Alexander's, uh, Wendy did kind of fill us in on what it is. If you haven't shopped with us before, we're a wholesale distributor. Uh, we're located in Louisville in California. We have a ton of awesome supplies. We carry wax supplies, skincare supplies, um, brow and lash lifting products, tinting, of course, PPE, any back bar items you might need, so gauze. Um, uh, I can't get the word out. You know, I use it every day. Robes. Um, I can't talk today. Bowls, brushes, masks. We have new pill-off masks. We have the new Aesthetic Pro Pen and a lot of different things. So if you haven't shopped with us before, uh, there's our QR code down at the bottom. So you can scan that and um, sign up for an account. We offer online classes, in-person classes, and we have a lot of online resources. So please check those out if you have not. We do drop shipping and curbside pickup if you're in the area around us. And we have really, really awesome customer service. So when you call, you always talk to someone, which is really nice. And all of our um, staff is mostly esthetician. So that's really helpful when it comes to product questions or anything like that. We're here to support you and we support everything we carry. So if you have a question, we love help, helping with troubleshooting. Okay, great. So my name is Trini. Um, I'm still an esthetician working and I work in uh, Denver, Glendale area. So I still practice. I still actively use everything that we're going to be chit-chatting about today. And that's kind of what makes my job fun because I get to play with it, learn how to use it, and then educate on it. So we have a one hour webinar. We're going to get to know the brand, the history of Reflectosil. Then we'll go over all of the intense browns um, products. So that includes the colors and um, everything that goes along with this particular set of products. What the effect is, we have a video showing kind of the steps and then we'll go through some questions. Great. So Reflectosil has been an expert in lash and brow styling since 1942. They are the global market leader of lash and brow tinting and quality um, brand in the category of professional lash and brow styling. They have decades of experience, which is really great. So um, I'm always like, if you know they've been around that long, they're good, right? And they definitely are keeping up all the time with the trends and trying to launch new innovations that are able to surprise, uh, you know, us and our clients, leading to the highest customer service customer satisfaction. There is a wide range of products. So Reflectosil has a ton of stuff. They have the lash lifting products, uh, brow lamination, of course, tinting products that we've all loved and used and um, brow mapping pens. They have the um, brow uh, filling pens. So a lot of different products. Cool, so this is the new era of brow and lash uh, tinting. And it's nice because it lasts such a long time. And um, we're gonna go through all that as well, but you can see that it is a very intense color if you look at the models on this particular slide. Um, and you do have that effect. So I do tell my clients like this is gonna be a little bit more bold, um, but there are ways to lighten that up. And we'll talk about that when we get to how to style with it. So this is the history of Reflectosil. Uh, my um, wonderful uh, editor, Wendy's dad, said that this is an eye exercise, and I feel like it definitely is. So um, you can kind of look at this, but it really just talks about how the brand itself, Reflectosil, was launched in 1942, and today is now the world market leader of tinting products. So what makes Intense Browns different from other Reflectosil products and other tinting products in general is it's the first FDA compliant lash and brow tinting system. So we don't say approved, we say compliant because 
um, the FDA doesn't approve products as a whole, they only approve ingredients. So they can say that this FDA product is compliant with um, the FDA requirements, which is a really big deal um, because we didn't have that for so long. And these are just some little FYIs that 100% of the tints are made in Austria. So 100% vegan and it's cruelty-free, which we love. It's patented tinting system with a mild formula. So it helps uh, the brows to look fuller or the eyelashes to look a little darker. Um, it's very mild, so it's okay for clients who are prone to allergies or have more sensitive skin. Um, and all clients can have this service used on them. Of course, I always recommend if they have had some sensitivities in the past, it doesn't ever hurt to do a little patch test, you know, just test like maybe a corner of the lashes or even right onto their skin to make sure they don't have any allergies with it. But it is made uh, for sensitive skin. Great, so it's a simple and safe service. So I will say it is simple, but there are a lot of steps and that's what makes this different. So though it says simple, just remember it is a whole different way of tinting. So we have to follow a different protocol with that, but we'll get to that um, as well. But it is smudge proof, waterproof, and it does last up for six weeks. And then when I say six weeks, it lasts for six weeks. It also lasts on the skin, I think up to 10 days, which is phenomenal. And that's why clients have been loving this product. So you can customize it kind of in any way for the, the makeup effect. It definitely adds a special wow to the brows. Um, if you use the primer, which is an optional step, it does help um, prolong the makeup effect of it. And it gives you a little bit longer lasting results. But the primer, which we'll go over, is an additional or optional step. It's not one that you have to take, but I do recommend it because I feel like it does help the service. It is vegan certified and has the highest product quality. And um, Austria has a different set of quality standards while respecting nature. So that's why they pride themselves on making this product in Austria because it does follow a little bit higher guidelines. So that's good to know as well. It has an intense and natural looking result. Like I said, it's semi-permanent to six weeks and it gives you a fuller looking brow. I do wanna say that these colors are not mixable. So we do need to keep that in mind. You can kind of do um, some like change in color. So you could put like a lighter color here and then the darker color to follow, but you'd have to align your products like that. You couldn't mix the colors. If you do, it doesn't really come out or work. The color with this product doesn't just sit on the lashes, it really wraps around the hair shaft. And when they made this line, they based it off of their sensitive line. So of course it's different than the sensitive product, but it was based off of uh, that line itself. So we're gonna go through the colors um, that they offer. This would be the lightest and it's for lighter skin and hair color, a cool and ashy shade of brown and it suits with neutral and cold color um, types. So you can see it's a little bit lighter. I will say that this ash brown has been kind of one of the more popular ones because it is a little lighter. So my clients have liked this color quite a bit. We have chocolate brown, which is more for brunettes it's, and lighter lashes. It's a medium shade of brown with a slight warm undertone. They have a deep brown, which is a natural looking um, darker brown. It's definitely a darker shade of brown and it's more striking, can be a little bit more eye catching. I would say I've used this one like twice and I do love the color, but I have to tell my client like, hey, it's going to be um, darker. 
And for those who do like that really dark color um, on their brows, they like this. But what I like to do with this color is ombre it. So I'll bring it into the um, base of the lash and then just hair stroke it with a spoolie up into the upper area so that it doesn't stain the skin so much, but it gives it a nice like fading effect. So I really like that style with the deep brown. Then we have dark brown for very dark lashes and very intense eyebrows. So this one, once again, is gonna be a very dark color. I feel like it shows up a little bit darker on my client than it does in this picture. Um, it's almost black. So it really does give a strong um, shape to the face, but you want to make sure that you let your client know once again, this, well, I don't know if you wanna let them know, but you want them to tell you like, do you like really dark brows or how do you normally style? Sometimes I like to have them fill in their brows when they come to me and then I can kind of match what they like to do. So this product is obviously for us, the professional. We can extend our service, um, give a different alternative that's more natural so they don't have to do microblading or um, permanent makeup. And like I said, safe and simple. I will tell you that this is a little bit different in terms of pricing, I would say, because it's going to take you a little bit longer. So this service for me, usually tinting brows takes about, um, you know, like 30 or so minutes. And that's like tinting, you know, the whole cleanup and everything. But this process takes me about 45 minutes to 55 minutes, so almost an hour. So you have to charge a little differently for that. You are also using a little bit more product. So I would take that. Hold on a quick second. I think Trini's freezing in the... Window, let's see if it'll catch her up here. Hold a moment. Hi everyone, this is Wendy. I think Trini is going to try to reconnect. So hold a minute. We all know how Wi-Fi works sometimes. So sorry about the interruption. Oops. Sorry. Okay, there happen. she is. She's back. I, think I, I got um, booted off my Wi-Fi network. I think <laughs> I think we that. might have um, had a little interrupt interruption over here. So we're back though. Thanks. Okay, great. Yeah. Sorry about that. Um, I don't quite know where we left off. I think we we're talking about pricing. Is that what you last heard, Wendy? Sorry. Yes, that's about right. Okay, cool. So um, just in case I was cut off at this point, I do think that this is something you need to charge double. Um, what you were initially char charging, because for one, it lasts longer. You had to take training for it. Um, you have new product that comes along with this, and um, it's going to take you a little bit longer to do the service. So I do think that it's something you need to charge a little bit more for. And my clients have honestly been fine paying a different price for this because it's lasting so much longer. Then let me just pause really quick. I'm going to take a look at the questions. We've got a couple here. Do you want me to read a couple to sure. you? Okay. Um, we have a question from Isabel wondering about the timing. She had heard that maybe this would be a shorter process, like 30 minutes, and you had mentioned that it might take closer to an hour. So she was just wondering if you can explain 
I do think that it is going to take longer. I don't feel like it's a shorter process. The reason being is that you have to do a little bit of exfoliation to the brows that helps it last a little bit longer. I don't feel like we have to do that in regular tinting. There's also a lot of processing times and we're gonna go through that as we walk through the demo on the uh, webinar here. But you leave product on for four minutes and then you have to wait for four minutes and then you leave another product on for four minutes and you wait for four minutes. So it is a little bit more lengthy of a process. And I think even with this product, I spend a lot more time brow mapping because it is so permanent. You know, six weeks is a long time to have brows that someone doesn't like. So I do spend a little bit more time brow mapping with my client on this product. I do feel like at first it is a learning curve because it is so different. So like with anything, we do need to spend time um, kind of with the trial and error. So I would definitely book about an hour. And like I said, that's why we should charge a little bit more, um, but your client's gonna have a longer um, result. And with that being said, it kind of substitutes from them. And this is how I told my client, you know, you come in every two weeks for a tint. Now you're gonna come in every six weeks. So it is a little bit different, but they're okay paying that. Okay, great. Yeah, I think there might be, you know, different things posted in different areas. And I think Trini explained that well in terms of like, um, just making sure you get it down. Obviously, when you get more proficient, you could probably be faster. But I think she's talking, you know, um, referring to obviously the learning curve here. Yeah. And then I do, I do think it is going to take longer than 30 minutes. So even after you've learned it, because there are so many processing times with it. Okay. Um, but I would say about 45 minutes feels, would feel pretty safe for me to say. Perfect. Awesome. <clears throat> do you want to keep going or answer some more questions or how you? Um, we can answer another one. Yeah. Okay. Um, Angela would like to know what the shade, what shade you would use for blonde. Um, definitely the ash. Um, it's the lightest. So unless they like their brows really um, intense and a very bold color, I would do ash for sure. That's going to be your lightest choice. Okay, fantastic. Let's get back to that one real quick and I'll show you this one here would be that um, color because it's for lighter skin and hair color types. Okay. Um, and Mia would like to know if there's a black for lashes. Um, the closest that they have for, oops, sorry, my slide is just going the wrong direction, <laughs> would be the black brown. So there's only those, um, is it five colors? I believe so, one, two, three, four, oh, four colors. So there's only the four colors, and this is going to be the darkest, but it's pretty close to black. So I would say that this would be the one to use if you're doing lashes. Okay, fantastic. Um, can you explain what brow mapping is? We had a question Absolutely. about that. So brow mapping is, let me grab a little pen here. So brow mapping, they sell a brow mapping pen, or you could just purchase a white um, eyeliner pen would work as, as well. But it's basically where you're mapping where the brow should be. And there's a whole way to do this. Um, and there's a lot of different resources online if you're not familiar with how, but usually you start with the crease of the nair and you come up to the eyebrow. And so it just tells you, you know, where the eyebrow should start, where it should end based on their eye, and then also where your arch should be created. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. And then someone asked for the second color, so I will just go back. That's oh, yeah. The chocolate brown, which is for natural brunette brows and light lashes. Um, it's a medium shade of brown, and it has slight warm undertones. This is a nice color as well. Right. And um, Susan was asking about, asking if they're not offering the blue-black anymore, other colors in this line. So do you want to speak to yeah. that? Yeah. So in this... It, in this line by itself, it's called intense browns because they wanted to really focus on like the brown colors. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, the blue black is definitely offered in the original Refectacil line still, and they'll always have that. But in terms of this line, no, this is kind of a whole different situation where it's just mostly browns, different shades of brown. 
Yes, but the other line is still still going strong. Still going strong. <laughs> yes, just a new um, a new system. Um, okay, great. Yeah. I think that's about it. I'm answering just a couple other ones. Um, we are getting some questions about state board. Uh, requirements. And I just want to say that we really can't, you know, as a distributor that serves all states, we really can't speak to each state's um, requirements um, just because it's different in every state. So we really do look to the to you guys as professionals to make sure you know what your state board is, um, you know, what you're compliant to. Yeah. Is, that, is that right, Trini? Does that answer that? Yeah, whatever okay. your... Um rules and regulations are that you're following your state. Um, of course, the manufacturer has their own, but you have to make sure you're following what your state uh, state requests of you. As yep, question. perfect. All right, I think we are pretty much caught up. What well, last question is someone wants to know if we can also use this on lashes instead of brows? Um, you can, yes, you yes. can definitely use this and it does last quite a long time. The one thing that is really great about this and why it's kind of geared more towards brows is because it stains the skin for so long where the um, original reflectosil tints don't stay on the skin as long. They're like two to three days and this is 10 days and it really does stay on that 10 days. Um, all these colors can be used on the lashes as well. Yeah, and that's why on um, on the bottom of these slides, you'll see it says for very dark lashes and intense eyebrows. So you can use this on lashes. Um, okay, great. This slide just shows the different techniques that you can do with this. So there's three different techniques that they taught in their master class and that we'll go over in the in-person class that we're having in Louisville uh, next month. And there's the full brow technique. And so that's kind of just the whole brow. So you're doing from the very start of the brow to the very tip. And you're not really doing any change in color. You're just fully tinting. Some people really like that look. There's the ombre shading, which I feel is a lot more popular because it's a little bit softer in the front. And then it goes down to a darker, more defined brow at the end and through the, throughout the arch. This is a little bit more natural and feathery looking. And then there's the brow filling technique. So this is more, this is for a more contoured and defined brow. So if they already have a pretty defined brow, we're just kind of filling in for them. So if they use um, brow pen, they can just, we can go in and substitute what they do with that brow pen with this tinting. So we're gonna go through the little kit. So this is $2.99. It is available with us at Alexander's. You get 60 services with this. There is a lot in here. So I do wanna say every single product is different when it comes to intense browns. So if you have something from the original line of Reflectisil, you can't use it with these colors. It's not gonna work. That includes the tint and the developer. Um, because the developer is going to be different. It's these, um, act, it's more called an activator gel. So I don't know if you can really see. You just kind of pull out what's going on in here really quick. So one thing I really love that's in here is the uh, Brautista toolkit. You have different brushes with this kit you do need to make sure that your brushes are clean in between. They can't have product from the set prior on them. So it's nice that there's two in here. Um, and then you have the reusable spoolies that you can barbicide and use. And then it has your bowls that hold the product. So I do love this. It has a brow mapping pen. And this is a great pen. It stays on the skin just the right amount of time, wipes off easy. This is a fantastic addition to this kit has the makeup remover in here as well. So if they do come in with their brows um, already on, this helps you take it off. And like I said, I like to have my clients come in with um, 
with their brows on just so I can get an idea of how they normally do it. So I don't do something that I feel and then they even don't like it. So I try to keep uh, consistent with theirs. Their tint remover is special to this kit. So um, if you try to use the old Reflective Silk uh, Tint Remover, it's not going to work. So we just have to make sure that you're using this one. Lots of different options here. So you have your step one, which are the base colors. So you would pick your colors from here and um, you have your ash brown, the deep brown and the black brown. And of course, the last one and your ash brown here. So you have your four colors in here. You also have four of your step two. This is the active activating gel. So this product, um, these are all the same, but you need to use this for your uh, step two. So when you put step one on, there's actually no color. It doesn't happen until um, you put the activating gel on it. Then it has four of the primers, which this is an optional step, but I will say definitely does make a difference. And you get four in medium, uh, two medium, two strong. So that helps retain the color and makes the makeup effect last a little bit longer. So this is a fantastic kit. Like I said, you get 60 um, services within this kit and all of your product that you need to get started with this particular shirt. Using this cute little case. So we do have that inside. Comes with the information of how to do it, um, time-wise, and just some additional information. I have a video here, and I just want to make sure because I get dyslexic and mix up all my times no matter what. So I'm just gonna make sure that I have um, my timings. I have them written down. So I just wanna make sure I get those out on that one later on. Okay, so this is the demo video. And I'm gonna just walk through what she's doing. See if I can pause this really quick because the music on my side is really loud, but having trouble finding my, I have two monitors. So I'm trying to find where my mouse is. Oh, there it is. I can get it on this other side to just turn down that volume. Okay, great. So these are the three uh, different techniques that we talked about, that ombre shading technique. And this is a technique that you could take a um, lighter color in the front and then have a darker color to find the arch in the end. And for this demo, I believe they go through the ombre shading. So we just want to disinfect our tools before we get started. And if you need towels, FYI, we have awesome towels, just saying. Um, so makeup remover, we're just going to clean any makeup off the brow. It also helps to remove any lipids or proteins that the hair might have on it, any oils. We want a very nice clean surface as well. And then we can use the saline um, to just clean up the brow and that helps to take off any residue that we may have left behind. One step they did teach us in our um, training was to exfoliate the brows with a light beaded exfoliant, but just make sure you've removed all of that exfoliant off the brows. 
And so this is an example of brow mapping for anyone who asked, and you can just use your um, brush to help do that. There's also a lot of beautiful um, different ways to do this, and you can use strings. Amazon has a lot of cool tools as well. And so we're basically just finding their natural arch and how to define their brows for their um, face shape. After I do this, I normally ask my clients to look directly at me so I can make sure that everything's straight. And then I have them look at it to make sure that they're okay, that, that it's not too thick or thin. So the intensifying primer is just for the brows. You wouldn't use this one on the lashes. And you just need a very small amount, pea size, into one of your little bowls. And you're going to apply that all throughout um, the brow. You really want to get it in there. So you can use the same technique that she's using by really kind of brushing it and getting in all the lashes, behind the lashes and on the skin. And then you leave this product on for four minutes. You remove the primer using a dry cotton swab. That's an important step that it has to be dry. And you wanna definitely make sure that your um, allowing this dry time after that four minutes for another four minutes. Um, they said you can use a fan to help to make sure that all the product is dry, which I would recommend. And then you're going to put the base gel. So you pick the color that you want and then you fill in the brows where you want. Now you won't see any color here because it's just a clear gel that goes on the brows. It's kind of an interesting, um, interesting little bit of magic when they put the activator gel on it, but it is weird because there's no color initially. Then you wait two minutes with this product and you'll remove it with a dry cotton swab. And you wanna make sure you remove all that product um, that's you know still wet off the brows. And then you wait four minutes for this product to dry. Once again, you can use a fan and then you'll get the activator gel, small amount into your bowl and you need to have a dry brush. Now, as you see, as she puts the activator gel on, it starts to then show color, but the activator gel is also clear until it touches um, the brows that already have the other product. So now she takes it on the back of the spoolie to give that ombre look, and she's just going to fill in the brows. And as you can tell, it's very dark right now. It lightens up a little bit, but this is an, a very dark, um, more intense, bold um, line. And I feel like it's nice because your clients get the effect for so much longer because of that. So then after, we're going to let the color sit um, for one minute. And then we take a wet cotton pad and we'll remove all of that product going towards and uh, towards and against the lash growth. So you can really just kind of scrub in there. And this is the point that your brow tinting comes off or your uh, brow mapping pen comes off. And there's our finished look. So it does take a little bit of time. Like I said, I just feel like with the um, process being new, it takes a couple more steps. You can use the tint remover to correct the shape. So if she's like, hey, I don't love how dark these look. You can put a little bit on that um, Q-tip and just go into the brows and just gently remove some product to soften and feather um, the front of the brow. And then of course you can always recommend your aftercare. So the styling gel is fantastic as well as um, 
the care balm. And the styling gel would just give it more of a laminated look. And just note and tell your clients not to put any oily products on um, their lashes for 24 hours. So no oil-based products. So if their cleanser's oil-based, oil you want them to wait to use that for two days. Yay! So that is our video. Um, it kind of shows it very quickly when you're doing it. It does feel like a little bit longer because you have the wait times and the in-between. Um, so it does take a little bit more time. see here if I can switch our slides. So we do have a class for this product coming up in Colorado on November 28th. Um, it's an investment of $450 and it does include um, this kit as well. So it's well worth it. It's going to teach everything that we just learned here today, but in full detail and then working on another model. Um, so you will work on someone and then you'll also have your brows done, which is really nice. There's an hour of theory, an hour of demo, a 30 minute lunch, and then two and a half hours of practice. So you really do get a little bit of additional time um, doing the lashes. And to sign up for this class, um, we will have a link on our Instagram or if you go to the website under classes, you'll find this class um, in the color on the Colorado website. So if you're wanting to travel or do anything like that, you'll have to go to the Colorado website to find this. Um, and that's Alexander's dash uh, Alexander's Aesthetics And right now we don't have any classes scheduled in California yet, but that might happen soon. And then we'll go ahead and jump to questions. Um, I know there's probably quite a bit, and I'm trying to think if there's anything that I left out as well. Um, Trini, I've kind of been monitoring some of the questions so I can sure. just read them out to you. Some of the ones That'd that be... I couldn't answer on my own. Um, so Krista would like to know, she says she's not sure if this was mentioned Does the only tint, does this tint, wait, does this only tint the existing brow hair or would it be able to create a fuller shape for those clients that have holes in their brows or the nineties over tweezed brows? Yeah, so this product um, does stain the skin for 10 days. So yes, they would have that effect on their um, areas that are a little bit more patchy because it's staining the skin and you'll get that for 10 days, but it's going to stain the hair um, for up to six weeks. So if they really like it on their skin, they're, they're gonna need to come back and have it redone. Okay, perfect. Um, Kara would like to know, she says, is the primer necessary? She says she used it on a light brown client with the lightest and it was way too dark, almost had a black to it. Um, the primer is optional. That's their optional step. Okay, perfect. All right. And then there's some questions about other services around this. So, um, how do how do we do this when we laminate eyebrows? So you would do your lamination first and then your tint. Okay, perfect. Same, yeah. And what about waxing? You can wax right around it. Um, I would probably, I usually like to wax after I shape, um, but that's totally up to how you like to do it in the treatment room. Mm -hmm. but you can definitely wax after the service, yeah. Okay, perfect. Um, Susan would also like to know if they can purchase this in California. Absolutely. The California office has all of these products. Um, so absolutely, you can purchase it there. Um, there's some questions about cost. So how much, uh, what is the cost per usage? So let's see, the kit is $2.99, right? And you said it's mm -hmm. good for 60 uses? 60 services. Yeah. 60 services. So two ninety nine. I guess we should have. I guess that's four dollars and ninety eight cents per per treatment. Per treatment, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, which color would you recommend for a red headed client? Ash is is for cool toned, and all of these just look a little intense. 
Um, I would probably either go the chocolate brown, depending on what they like, Mm -hmm. um, or uh, even ash brown could go on there without the primer. I really think that with someone who has a more redhead, that's redheaded, I don't know if I would particularly go towards the intense browns unless they color Mm -hmm. their um, brows pretty dark and brown. If not, then they might go back to the the original Refectosil and use like chestnut or a more natural brown. Okay, great. Um, Sarah would like to know how much you charge for this service. So I'm in Colorado. And like I said, I just had to double whatever my original cost was for lash tinting. So I think, or I'm sorry, brow tinting. So whatever you charged for tinting, (coughs) excuse me, I would double that. Okay, great. Um, Janine was wondering if skin protectant can be used where the brow was matte. Um, do you mean after or Janine, can you, uh, do you mean before or after you map it? Yeah. Janine, if you just want to tell, she said before. Oh, um, I'm not quite sure the pencil would draw over it because it, the protectant is a cream base. So it might not really, unless it's really rubbed in, but it might not, um, leave any, um, of the pencil on the skin. Okay. Of the cream. She said, can we use a barrier before I think is what she was trying to get to. Okay. I would probably, um, map first, then put the barrier around it because you're going to be able to see it before application, not mapping. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. You could use the barrier cream. Okay. Perfect. Um, All right. We have another question. Um, I'll read it to you. It's in the Q&A if you want to read along, but it says, I currently use the original Refectosil light brown when doing lamination. In my experience, any other color is immediately black or too dark. The hair seems to take the tint faster after being chemically treated. Can this new system be used without that happening? I'm going to reread this one more time. Sorry. Yeah. Where the processing time in the original, you do less after you've laminated. Um, In our training, when I took the master class for this, we did it directly after a lamination and it, the color really just comes out the exact same as it would if you hadn't done any service prior. So I think it really depends if you use the primer or you don't use the primer Um, because you get a little bit bolder of a look with the primer. Mm -hmm. Um, But I think it's going to give you pretty true to color um, after a lamination service. Okay, perfect. Um, All right, we uh, have a question on, can this be used on a beard? Um, I think that's a question that I would like to probably ask Refectosil and get clarification. Okay. Um, I think we can. I'm pretty sure they said that in the training, but I would just like to double check with them and um, we can get back to you. But I think they did say yes for facial hair. Okay. I have, um, is it Beth, Beth Beth Zeta or Beth Zeta? I wrote down your name. So we'll get back to you after once we get confirmation on that. Thank you. Um, and then I see a question about the colors being mixed. You cannot mix these colors on this, in this line. Um, the original effect is still you could mix. And on this one, you cannot. What you can do is put like, say the ash brown here, and then you'll have to, you know, wherever you want the darker color, but you can't mix the two or it's not going to work. Okay. All right, great. Um, there's a question on the cost per usage. Um, and the question was, are we able to purchase the primer base gel and activator individually? And the answer is yes. Those are all up on our website separately. So you can purchase those separately as well. You don't have to purchase those 
as part of the kit. Um, okay, Diamondo has a question. What's the technique to apply two colors to do when you mentioned in the beginning, what you mentioned I, in the beginning? I think we um, probably covered that as they were asking, but that's where you can go with the ash brown here in the front, and then you'll have to do that kind of separate. And then you can take in like, say the um, chocolate brown here from the arch down to the end of the brow. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, Nadia wants to know if we teach hair coloring theory in the class. Um, in the class, we go through, um, what do you mean uh, the theory? Sorry, let's just, I want to get quite a yeah. answer this let's, correctly. Let us know, Nadia, what, um, any more information? All right. Susan put in a comment. Um, and I'm trying to find like which string some of these comments go to. So, um, but Susan put in a comment that, um, and this might been around the red um, for the red hair color um, that then you have to find, let's see here. You can use graphite or the granite color and the chestnut brown together to make a perfect coverage for red. That's what she said. But again, that's from the, yeah. And again, that's from the regular line though. Um, and we just want to reinforce that we cannot mix because we, we want to make sure that that's clear. But yeah, yes, no thank you, Susan. Um, I think we're caught up on questions. Nadia, just if you want to put in what you mean by hair coloring theory, let us know. And, but I think we're caught up on all the questions if there's anything else. Um, that pops up, I can, I can let you know, Trini. Awesome. Yay. Um, I really appreciate you guys for joining us today. Please reach out if you have questions about this. It is a different process. So be patient with learning and be patient with yourself. Um, I think that's sometimes the hardest thing for estheticians is for us to be kind to ourselves while learning something new because you know, our clients, our models are sometimes a little harsh when they don't like something, especially when it's their brows. Um, but take your time. Um, this is something that's really great for us because we can charge more. It has a longer lasting effect. And um, it's something that we can add into our service menu that we kind of already know how to do. We just have to learn a different technique for it. So once again, just you know, be kind and um, gentle on yourself. Take the class if you can, it'll help quite a bit. Um, and then we did put in the uh, chat box one more time, a PDF, and it's just helpful um, in terms of giving the like points of why um, having this particular kit. Let's see if I can share my screen with that up there. Try to open it, but I'm not seeing it. You want me to try to open it? Yeah, that'd be great. I can't. Also, All right. I'm struggling to get my mouse in the right area. Yeah, let so me see here. Let me stop sharing. Um, and there were a couple more questions um, for people that came in late. I know it's a little confusing with the time differences. I, we posted at 10 o'clock, but that's mountain time. So I think someone came in thinking maybe it was 10 o'clock Pacific time. But again, we are putting this up on our um, YouTube uh, channel. Hopefully by the end of the week, it should be up there. And then Trini, did you want me to share this PDF? Uh, yes. Okay. Let's just go back to my, oops, sorry, I have too many windows open, just trying to get to my share. All right, can you guys see this? Great, so this is just a little PDF on what makes it different. Uh, it does say 30 minutes, but I would definitely say 45 minutes to 55 minutes when you start, and I it does take me 55 minutes to do this service, um, 40 to $60 extra revenue. And um, it's great because you can tell your clients like this is FDA compliant. So that's nice. You can learn this um, 
you know, in a day with the training, which is great. You can do brow filling, ombre shading, and a full brow, and then colors for all clients, um, depending on, you know, if they like the brown look, some people like to have a little bit lighter of a brow and that might require products from the original Reflectasil. And then no mixing of the products last four to six weeks and ties in with you know, their regular visits. So once again, we really appreciate you um, stopping into this webinar. I do wanna say we have upcoming classes online. So just a little FYI, I'm gonna grab my planner so I can tell you what those are. Um, online, we have a um, lash lifting class in December, I think on the 16th the schedule I have, oh, 12th. Um, we do have some classes in Colorado coming up, such as the Skin Script Chemical Pill class. Um, we do have a great sugaring class. So if you're willing to travel or if you're in the area, it's phenomenal. It's two day. You'll learn everything you need to know about sugaring. And then we also have a, a Brazilian waxing uh, technique class. So if you would like to enhance your skills with Brazilian waxing, or if it's something you're nervous about or intimidated about, please join us for that class here in Colorado as well. Um, we will have a... Um, webinar in December, I think on the 19th with uh, Aesthetic Pro, the nano and micro needling pen. So please join that if you're interested. We have a lot of opportunities to learn with us. And online, we have a lot of different um, resources. If you go to our YouTube, a lot of different videos. So please let us know if you need anything. Also in the chat box, if you'd like to comment if there's any um, subjects or classes or webinars that you would like to see, we would love that information as well. And I think that's kind of everything. That yeah, I, I think I'm, people are saying they can't see the PDF. So let me know. I did post it in the chat to everyone. You just have to download it to your computer. And I also posted our link to the YouTube channel where this will be posted hopefully by the end of this week. Um, so if for some reason you're not, you don't, you cannot download this PDF, just maybe give us a call. Let me put in our email. Um, here's our email. You can always reach out to us if, um, if you need any more information. I put that in the chat as well. Yay. And then after this webinar, there is a survey that pops up. If you have time, please fill that out for us. It helps us improve our um, education program and it just makes us know what we're doing right and maybe what we need to work on. So let us know. And I appreciate you guys for being here. And I am excited if you get the tinting products and you start tinting, please tag us in your Instagram posts because we would love to see what you're doing mm -hmm. and share that on our story. So uh, tag us and let us know. And if you don't follow us on Instagram, please do because we'd love to follow you back. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks, Thank you everyone. all. Thanks, Trini. Yay. Have a good day. All right. Bye, everyone. Thanks. Bye.